Morning, everybody. How the hell are y'all doing today? So, what's going on? Well, CP and I bought a couple of uh, steel round grain bins. And we were trying to figure out where the hell to put them, where the hell to put them. Talk to our son, Tris. I had my ideas. She's got hers. He's got his. Uh, I wanted to put them on the far side of the yard. So way out there on the other side of this gravel pile, way out there, some of you guys have seen it. I've got an old 2003 F-250 uh, Super Duty Ford truck, diesel, that does not run right now. Anyway, I was going to put the bins out there. Uh, that was my thought. That way if we get another two or three bins in the future, I can have them all in a nice row out there. If you ever wanted to put air in it, that would be a major pain in the ass. CP wanted to put them where these bales are all stacked up. Well, the ground level is from high point, which would be the rocks too low point at the far side of the bales it drops like four feet I'd have to bring a lot of fill in Tristan he says put them right here so if you remember we had some straw bales stacked up here over the winter and I just moved the last 26 bales last night after I got home I put them over there so we talked it over and being that these two bins there is no floor in them they're sitting on concrete um, so we're actually going to be building a whole putting in concrete for them to sit on again is what our plan is <laughs> so this is where they're going to go and in time I could put another one or possibly two next to it and CP is okay with this on one condition and one condition only. And I'll show you guys what that condition is. As long as the bins, when we're sitting on the deck of the house right there, as long as the bins do not obstruct her view of that crowl or the pasture further out. So, so that I can easily get three bins from the edge of that dirt line to where the bobcat is. And if need be, I can always put one on the other side, like closer towards Big Blue over there. But for starters, we just have to worry about two bins, right? So, she did say she would like to uh, put a row of caragana type trees on this side of the fence, this fence line, which keeps the animals from getting in the house yard. So, if she's going to put a row of caragana trees, she said go about 20 feet from the fence out for the bins. So, that's what we're doing. And I think I'm going to start right about here, not right on the corner, but we'll come out 20, 17, 20, which puts me, there's 20, there's my boot, approximately right there. That'll give her lots of room for a row of trees. So, I've got some stuff here to use as stakes. Oh. My mark was right there. That'll be my starting point. Now, the bins are 16 foot diameter, to our knowledge. And I'm thinking if I have my gravel point 
two feet wider than the bin all the way around, that that should be good. I don't know. So, if it's 16 foot, if I go from that point another 20, Nineteen twenty. And I broke one of these yesterday. I didn't see it kind of laying on the ground behind me when I was in the bobcat. I'm a little off. And I drove over the son of a bitch and that's not going to work. Maybe this end will go in the ground, kind of, sort of, blunt nose, some bitch. Nope. There. You got to watch these fucking fiberglass things. You get fiberglass in your fucking hand without a glove on quite easily. So, that's 20, and then 40 feet long... Um, and we should be good to go. So I'm going to continue at getting the rough square in. CP's over there in her garden. Using the garden hoe, getting rid of some weeds. And I'm going to work at roughing this in, and then we'll have to cross square it to make sure we're square. So I'll let you guys go for now, and we'll bring you back later. Yeehaw. All righty, guys. So... This is our area for two bins, 16 foot diameter. So I'm making, basically what I'm trying to do is make my pads 17 feet, each concrete pad. Yes, we're pouring concrete for the bins. Um, so this is 22 feet by 42 feet. Should be plenty of room for two bins, right? So we just... I brought a bunch of clay in here, so instead of digging the hill out on that side, over there, we brought fill in on this side. So now I'm going to get some boards and screw them together and box this in and see where our level is. Basically, I want it this end to be the height as that end. So... From that stake right here in front of us to the blue one over there, uh, this is the end over here. So yeah, I got to get out the screw gun and get out the screws and set these 2x4s out. And At least this is how I think I need to do it. I've never done this before, so we will see how it turns out here in a little bit. Ugh. Anyway, I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Oh, and look, she's burning up. She's getting a sunburn. And then she's going to bitch and complain at me because she didn't put no sunscreen on. Well, maybe you have to rub me down to do it. I didn't see you come out here with any sunscreen to rub you down with. <laughs> Anywho. Let's pitter-patter and get at her. The day is progressing on and on and on. It's taken a lot longer than I anticipated, so we'll talk to you guys later. Well, we're getting there, guys. It's friggin' hot today. It's plus 30. That cloud is dumping rain out that way. It's humid as hell. I'm hoping we get a little bit. We don't need a lot, but a little would be nice. At the same token, it'd be nice to see it dry right up good, too. Uh, anywho. Yeah. I got to haul a lot of clay in here yet. You can see that. There's 12 inches of clay that has to come in here yet. Crazy. But we got her squared up. And we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Later. Alrighty, guys. Uh... That's south. We did have a rain shower from that cloud there that just went through. And it's heading southeast. And this big guy is coming. What's in it? 
I have no idea. Uh, what am I doing? Well, it's pushing the 7 p.m. hour, and my uh, air conditioning buddy said he would come over when he was done going to wings. He was going for wings this evening. It's Thursday evening, guys. Wing night. Anyway, and he's going to come over and charge the AC in this some bitch because this fucking thing is not giving me cold air worth a fuck. But there's that. I've got like 10 or 12 loads with the dump trailer to haul to get that all filled in the way I want it. Maybe more. Because the dump trailer with that heavy wet clay, it'll only, you can only put like two, maybe three bucket loads from this tractor in the dump trailer and it's full. Well, it's not full, but it's heavy enough that if you have more than that, it's not going to dump. So, but if you put three bucket loads in and then make a trip, that's one trip for three bucket loads versus doing three individual bucket loads. Three trips, right? Like I did earlier, I put eight or nine bucket loads in there so far. But anyway, so because that cloud is coming, we're gonna back this puppy into here. That way, we can still work on him. Uh, when Richard gets here. Yeah. And I think I'm going to lift the friggin' loader up in the air. Whoop. That way, it's kind of out of the way for when we go to work on it. Alrighty. We'll talk to y'all later. I don't know if we'll see you later today or maybe tomorrow. So, later anyway. Well, guys, came in for supper, and she opened, the sky opened up. You can see the blue sky way over there, but this cloud came over top, like I showed you before, and she's a-raining. She's a-raining. How much we're going to get out of this, I have no idea. <clears throat> if nothing else, it's helping cool things off. There's been funnel clouds spotted up uh, Edgeley, which is only like seven miles away from me. Lots of hail in the all around, but so far we're not seeing any hail. Uh, so, well, anyway, see y'all tomorrow, unless something terrible happens. Tinker's losing her marbles. Are you scared? <laughs> you want a treat? It's a coming down. <laughs> it's a coming down. Like it's really coming down. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You're a little <laughs> I'm gonna throw you and your dog out the door. <laughs> he doesn't want it. Oh. Here. Here. Raindrops are bouncing right off the deck a little bit. Oh, fun, fun. Alrighty guys, how's it going today? Well, we got a couple loads brought over here with the old dump trailer. Cheap man's grain trailer slash dump trailer slash gravel hauling trailer slash you name it. It does it, at least on this operation. Um, I'm going to have to bring more in, that's for sure. But uh, I got to get some on the outside of this form out here on the outside on the outside across the back over there across the back over there because whatever i put on the inside if you don't got something on the outside it's just going to fall out right 
but so yeah we will be getting in here with the bobby cat to move some of this dirt around but we got to be careful on where we load our clay because uh where we load it's uh <coughs> sticky that uh spot is really greasy from last night's rain um we ended up with just over three tenths so that's all good fine and dandy except it just made hauling dirt here a bit of a pain in the arse because it's so it's so sticky and better yet not sticky but greasy it's so greasy that the first load where I was parked as almost stuck just sitting on top four by four and it's spinning like crazy in that greasy topsoil in that bale yard of ours I managed to get out but now we're not able to park per se in that same spot we got to park a little farther away uh, from where I want to load but I can put like four bucket loads in the Bobcat so and removing four bucket loads at a time that's a lot quicker than going back and forth four times so anyways I'm gonna let you guys go and uh, we're gonna continue hauling some dirt here and I'll bring you all back a little bit later. Alrighty guys, well, as far as the clay fill goes, I think I've got her cased. Um, I gotta get the plate compactor and run it over here a couple, two, three times and pack the hell of it out of it. Caught this two by four, you can see it kind of bowed out on me a little. Caught it with tractor tire when I was coming in here putting the clay down with the tractor little shy over there but I'm thinking with the gravel it'll fill it in I got to jump on the bobcat to get around this backside and I got a little bit of a pile of clay there and a little bit over here I want to put it up against the edge on the backside to hold the gravel all in place but that'll be tomorrow I can't get the plate compactor until tomorrow so and yeah, it's up and down, but once we uh, get that plate compactor and pack it good, then we'll know more, how much more dirt I have to bring over, more clay, if any at all. A little bit low over here, but whatever, it'll be what it'll be. So, anywho, I'm going to let you go. And we'll talk to you guys later.